as we pull back, what is he putting himself on top of? Uh, he is not slowing down. Rice lacing a giant double line right there. That was insane. Never a dull moment when you're live to the world in the middle of nowhere. The wait is over. We've been counting down the days, the hours, and the minutes, but we are ready now to kick off the Yeti natural selection here at Revelstoke Mountain Resort. This is so exciting. I mean, this is literally a venue that has never been ridden by skier or snowboarder or anyone. Looking up at this face, the true size and scale of the features up there is remarkable. We call this on Boulder Park, and it really is at the heart of what we want natural selection to be, opportunities for creativity. We've got 12 of the world's best riders here. They qualified through the duels. Format is the same, head-to-head -head matchups. Two runs, whoever has the highest score advances to the next round. The first man to drop, defending natural selection champion, Travis Rice. Have a great run, maybe not too great though. Woo! Absolutely huge first bite. Oh my god! What? god. That was insane. Next rider to drop in, Ben Ferguson. I'm not positive if he intended to be in this area. Fuck. Here he goes. Oh! This is incredible, just holding his composure. Oh my god, and he's out. Travis Rice taking the lead. One of my most favorite things about this contest is when the drone pulls back and we see what the riders are about to experience before they do. Travis will be moving on out of this bracket from the men's quarterfinals into the semis. Heat to Micklebank going up against Dustin Craven. He's going to try to do the left side of my Dude, the exit is tight, huh? It's like a tube. Oh my god! Oh, what an animal. Dustin Craven with the highest score. Only person up in the 80s right now. Dude, that was fucking savage. does it for Mikkel Bang's second run here. Craven will move on. Mikkel Bang has been eliminated. Who won? Who do you think? <laughs> Probably time for me to strap in or something. Next matchup, it is two heavy hitters. Torstein Hogmark going up against Jared Elston. Absolutely mind melting. Jared Elston taking the lead against Ooh. Torstein Hogmo, but that one is very, very close. Who's got any water? Back to the top. Torstein will take the second run, but it will not be enough to overtake Jared Elston, so the kid from Bend moves on. Fine. Fourth and final of our quarters. Blake Paul, the backcountry prince, and then Mikey Cicerelli. Who is taking Marcus Morris's place, who injured himself after the games. That is so far one of the most solid drops that we have seen. That was a good run. Blake Paul with a commanding lead over Mikey Cicerelli. That was crazy. 
Not enough. Mikey Cicerelli is eliminated. Blake Paul moves on. Nice riding. Good luck, birthday girl. Hey. We're moving across now into the semi-finals for the women. Highest score will advance through to the finals. This is just a gigantic yeah. statement from Zoe wow. Sadowski Simon. Wow. Good birthday present? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Haley. Yeah, Haley. Yeah, Haley. You got this, girl. Here you go. Sixty-three point eight for Haley Langland, eighty points for Zoe Sadowski Sinner. Here we go. The ball's in Haley's court to improve upon Zoe's first run. Yeah. So it will be Zoe Sadowski Sinnott who moves on. But now we're back up to the top here for the second matchup for the women. Elena Height going toe to toe with Kimi Fasani. Elena coming into this event defending natural selection tour champion. Fasani is a warrior. She comes into the natural selection tour with a new lease on life. All about it. Got the clearance from that rare inflammatory stage three breast cancer. She's come straight back into natural selection. Kimmy, I would like to officially welcome you back. <laughs> oh, thank you, that was so fun. Elena Hype with a 74. Kimmy Fasani with some work to do in the second run with a 58.2. Yeah, Kimmy, shred it. Well, Elena Height will move on. Wow, it's gonna be Elena Height up against Zoe Sadowski, Sinnott. Oh my gosh, I want more! Come to see that ship. We're back. Dustin Craven setting off into the first of these runs. Two highest scores going toe to toe in the semi finals. Is that your request, Strauss? Maybe Gordon Lightfoot? Look at the snow just barreling down behind him. The instabilities in Travis is a bit too severe to ignore, aren't they? Ah, oh, got white room. It's Travis's event to lose. No one's ridden this kind of stuff more than him, not even Craven. Travis is going to have his work cut out for him. coming in. Travis Rice goes a point and a half ahead of Dustin Craven for a place in the finals. On board. <laughs> yeah. One love, brother. Yeah. Peace be the journey. Peace be the journey. 
Jared Elston maturing at a phenomenal rate, but he's going up against Blake Paul. ending to that run. Back up to the start, we have that tall drink of water that is Blake Paul. Oh, and he holds on to it! Oh, oh my god. Ooh. It was so spicy up in there. 1.2 between them, we saw the same distance between Dustin Craven and Travis Rice. Jared Elston, one point ahead of Blake Paul. Personally, I don't think this is going to be an improvement on that first run score. I think he's got a nervous weight. Blake Paul dropping in. He needs to squeeze an extra point out of this run. Blake Paul will move into the finals at the expense of Jared Elston, where he will face Travis Rice. So you're gonna go over there, or are you gonna go over there? <laughs> the energy is electric as we go into finals here. History is being made, and soon enough we'll have a champion. Elena Height will be up first. riding so good. Wow. <laughs> Zoe leaves the start gate. First run of two here for the title. It will be Zoe carrying the advantage into run number two, a 79.2. Right back up to the top. Who is gonna take home this year's Yeti natural selection? Elena Height will go first. is for the title. Oh, goes for front seven. That's what I wanted to see. All right, it has just come in from our judges that the winner of the Yeti Natural Selection is going to be Zoe sadowski Sinnott. Well, it has been a day of history being made out here in the backcountry. What an incredible day for Zoe. Straight back up to the top. Blake up against Travis Rice. Travis is going to do. He was studying up top when I dropped in. I know Travis is going to do something special, and it is going to be spectacular. Uh, he is not slowing down. Rice lacing a giant double line right there, holding on to it. Holy cow. He just punched it. Travis just fed on that face right there. That was insane. That's what I think, you know, Blake was afraid of. 
I saw a bobble in there. <laughs> Travis with a 90.8. Blake coming in with a 73.4. Travis carrying a meaty lead into the second runs. Well, legs are finally warmed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Two contrasting styles. This is the final run of the Yeti Natural Selection. Blake is going to just see what the mountain gives him. No way! Wow. Wow. That's a name. seeing that run being in the 90s for Blake. It is time to go to the last resort. <laughs> this is it, the final run of the day. Travis Rice, final competitor to come down at the Yeti Natural Selection. run straight down the middle. Travis Rice, the final competitor here. And I'm gonna say it, it's all but latched up for Rice. Dude, that line was a dream. Well, it was a buck day ride. Scores are coming in. Travis Rice is the winner of the Yeti Natural Selection here at Revelstoke. This has been insane. The Yeti Natural Selection Tour from Revelstoke is a wrap.